and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today guys for a Barca news roundup and we've got a lot to talk about because there have been some big transfer rumours over the past few hours including Bernardo Silva, including João Cancelo and including Giovanni Lo Celso. Now I know what you're all thinking and I completely get that but in today's video we're going to be discussing why there may be more to these rumours than meets the eye. And we are going to be trying to get to the bottom of all of it. So all that is coming up, guys, plus opinions. Let's do it. Now, today's Barca News Roundup is coming to you courtesy of Manscaped, who continue with their big support to the channel. Really, really appreciate that. And you guys still have the chance to get 20% off your Manscaped order. That's still on the table. If you just go ahead and use the code TALKFCB at checkout to bag yourself that 20% off, and you'll receive all of your Manscaped products with extra speedy delivery. And they've got an incredible range there of men's grooming products to keep you looking very, very fresh and looking good this summer. And guys, just have a look there at Inigo Martinez because he was presented as a new Barca player just this morning. A big, big welcome to the club for him. And look, Inigo seems like exactly the kind of guy who'd want to get his hands on the beard hedger. He'd love it. He would absolutely love it, I'm sure. Maybe I'll try and send him one. But hey, if you want to look as good, if you want to look as trim as Inigo Martinez does, and I'm sure you do, head over now, guys, to manscaped.com. They will get you sorted out wherever you are in the world. And please don't forget to use the code TALKFCB, 20% off now. Thank you indeed for your great support. But okay, guys, before we go on to discuss these transfer rumours, linking us there to the likes of Cancelo, La Celso, Bernardo Silva, we're going to do this a little bit differently today. Here's how it's going to go. Because firstly, I'm going to give you the rumours. Firstly, we're going to discuss the news that we've been hearing on all three of them over the past few hours. But then I'm going to give you some information, some very valuable information. And then I'm going to talk about my opinions on all three. And we're going to discuss whether any of these rumours have real substance. So let's start with the news itself, starting here with Cancelo, because he still remains on the table as a potential option this summer. That, for me, is good news there, as does Fresneda, because Barca have not ruled out either of them because they want to sign a right-back. They are still intent on bringing in a new right-back this summer, and it was reported late last night by Cat Radio that the Cancelo deal again it's advancing. We have picked it up again. João Cancelo de Barça. And right now, apparently, we are negotiating with his agent, who happens to be Jorge Mendes. He could be key in this deal. You really feel that way. And Barça right now are trying to get Cancelo to agree to a lower salary in the first season. That is all there structured around FFP, getting him registered now. They want Cancelo to make a big cut in his wages in that first year before then later in his contract, if he signs permanently, that deal would then increase. Because right now, Barca are also trying to convince Man City to loan us João Cancelo. And in the absolute perfect scenario, Barca would love an option to buy. They would like not really to be tied up in this. They'd like to have the option, but nothing too permanent, just in case things don't go well. But it is believed there that Man City, the absolute minimum they would accept, if it was going to be a loan deal, it would have to be with an obligation to buy. And we still don't don't really know what that fee would be, what they would demand as the value for that obligation to buy. Then there is the topic of Giovanni Lo Celso. This is another name that keeps being mentioned throughout this summer. It is very, very clear that Xavi is a big fan of Lo Celso and he is definitely an active option right now for the club. And it was reported just yesterday that talks have taken place between Barca and Lo Celso's camp to sort of understand what kind of wages we'd be talking about here. Nothing too concrete happened in those talks, but certainly they've sounded out Lo Celso's side. And as of yet, there also haven't been any talks with Tottenham. But that in itself for me is quite interesting this summer, given that we are speaking to them already about Clement Longley. We've been deep in talks with Tottenham now for several weeks. And we're also, don't forget, holding the Gampa alongside them. They're going to come over and be our opponents for the 
Gamba game. So we're having quite a few discussions this summer with Tottenham. And that is why I would keep an eye, a very close eye, on these Lo Celso links. Before then, we talk about Bernardo Silva. Now, speaking of a rumour that just keeps coming up, well, how many times have we heard about this one? Bernardo Silva to Barca. And, well, it's well and truly back on again this summer, guys. Because, once again, we're talking about a George Mendes client. That is not a complete surprise right now. Because Mendes seems to be at the heart of a lot of the deals we're doing in this summer transfer window. That is certainly no secret at all. And the feeling right now from Man City's side, apparently, is that if Bernardo desperately wants to leave the club, they won't stand in his way. They will not hold him back. He will be allowed to leave for a suitable amount. And he does have offers from PSG, from Saudi Arabia. We know they've been very well documented. But the reason why none of those have really advanced yet is because Bernardo is still waiting for Barca. He was last summer. He desperately wanted to come. His partner there was even looking at houses in Barcelona last summer. Such was the desire to come here and live in the city. And this summer, nothing has changed. Now, the rumours surrounding Barca and Bernardo this time around are very similar there to the Cancelo ones, whereby we're looking for a loan deal. Now, it's been rumoured there that it would be a loan deal with an obligation to buy, meaning that we wouldn't have to pay any fee this summer. That would be put back until next summer at the earliest, which would help in in registering Bernardo, but the fee though, it is big, it is a really, really huge fee reported there as a 70 million obligation fee plus 20 million in potential variables. So that could be a 90 million deal there if everything happened, potentially, if Man City agreed to that kind of loan deal. So we're talking about big, big money. But I want to stop you right here. And I want to stop right here to say I understand right now all of you probably screaming at whether you're watching this on the laptop on the TV. You're screaming at your screen saying... What are you talking about? How on earth are Barca going to sign Bernardo from Man City? How are they going to sign Cancelo from Man City? Lo Celso from Tottenham? When every single one of you right now are probably saying, we can't even register Vitor Roque. We have signed there such a talented Brazilian for big money, and yet he's not even going to come in in the coming season. It's looking like there. We are really, really struggling with that. So how now are we talking about Bernardo? How are we talking about Cancelo? How can we talk about Lo Celso? Come on! But here's the thing, and I'm just going to give you one of the rumours that we're hearing right now, because there are certain whispers in the media that say the main reason why Barca did not sign Vitor Roque in the coming season, will not register in there until at least January, is so that this summer, they are saving room for a surprise signing. One that maybe hasn't been talked about that much yet. Maybe it would be a big name, big money, we don't know. And that player would come immediately into Chappie's starting eleven. He would be a key, key player. Because these reports basically have implied that Vitor Roque was seen as a young player. Very, very talented, very exciting. But if he had to stay out on loan for an extra 6 to 12 months... Barca don't mind too much about that. He'd be gaining experience still, ready for that big move, and he wasn't going to come in anyway and jump into the starting eleven ahead of Robert Lewandowski, which is reported as the feeling. But I do think it was interesting very recently when Juan Laporta actually was asked about the coming season, about the summer transfer plans and what has been happening, and he openly said, to complete the team that Xavi asked for this summer, we still need one right back, and two midfielders. So Laporta openly saying there, we're not done yet. In order to actually complete what Xavi has asked, in order to give the coach what he needs, we still need to make maybe three signings. And Laporta was very honest and open about that. He almost implied as though they still aim to get those wishes complete for Xavi. So what about Bernardo? What about João Cancelo? What about Lo Celso? Are any of these players ones that would jump into Xavi's team, who would become key players? And with all three of them in mind, which one then is most likely? Well, if we go through all three of them, starting with Bernardo, who in my opinion 
still remains the most unlikely, guys. There's no real way around that for me. I understand here that he would love to join the club. I also understand that Xavi loves Bernardo as a player. He sees him as the missing piece he has done now for quite some time. But that doesn't make it suddenly, because the will is there, an affordable deal. I think here, even on a loan deal, with Bernardo earning low salary, maybe low wages in that first year, we could get around FFP, maybe. But then next summer, do you really want to sign up now to a potential 90 million euro signing? Does that seem like good planning right now? Is there even a plan to get that registered next summer, to actually get that through? I just don't know. I just think right now, in terms of a huge signing for huge money, we don't need to go there. I understand the quality of Bernardo. I understand that he would fit this team well, but I just don't think we have the capabilities. We don't have the financial power at this point to make this signing. It would basically be running, maybe even sprinting before we can walk. Let's go step by step. Let's not overpay and let's not go in with huge deals. Let's do what we can, ultimately, within our means. Because then you've got Lo Celso, who I think here is sort of a backup option for Bernardo. I think he is the cheaper option, of course, out of the two of them. And Lo Celso, by the way, he is an excellent player. Make no mistake about that. He would also work very, very well at Barca. But I just think it is interesting right now, Xavi's desperation to find this sort of creative link between midfield and attack to be going after here another midfielder we've been searching for it now for quite some time and honestly whether we're talking about Bernardo whether we're talking about Lo Celso I just find it hard still to believe that we go out right now and pay huge money for another midfielder and it not be a pivot you know that for me should be the priority and I think the Chaffee as well it is the priority so I don't think right now we're going to be making a big luxury signing that's what it would be for me we've got lots of midfielders we've got lots of different profiles the pivot has to be the priority and nor Bernardo nor Lo Celso really fit that role which is why right now for me guys by far and away Zhao Cancelo remains the most likely option out of the three of them today I think this is one that still needs a lot of work we still still need Cancelo there to make a big effort on his wages in that first year. He does need to lower his wage demand. George Mendes may become key in the deal. And I also think here we basically need Man City to help us on this one, to agree there to a very, very favourable loan deal. That's the only way that we can really get it done and get it registered in the coming season. But I think it's possible. And the reason that I say that is... Man City want Cancelo out. That is the driving force, I feel, behind our negotiating power on this one. Because as we know ourselves, when you want to get rid of a player, when you actively, and everybody knows that you want them out... You lose your power. You lose there your negotiating position. And I think here that makes Man City a bit more vulnerable, a bit more desperate here to negotiate his exit from the club. And that is why maybe, just maybe on this one, if everything comes together, if all parties can really push and try and make this happen, then maybe Cancelo could end up at Barca, but there's still... Lots of work to be done. So those there, guys, are the very latest transfer rumours right now. And I did want to discuss each of them today in some detail to sort of go through everything. You know, not just cast them aside, not just not think about what's happening, because there is lots going on right now with Barca. There's always things happening behind the scenes. There's always things that maybe we don't expect. And we have to look at everything with that very, very fine microscope. But let me know, guys, your thoughts in the comments down below on Bernardo, on Lo Celso, on João Cancelo. Which of those players, in your opinion, is the most likely to join Barca? Do you see any of them making it here this summer? And out of the three, though, in a hypothetical situation, which one of them would you like to see most in a Barca shirt? Let me know all of that down below. I will see you very, very soon indeed, with lots more coming up and plenty more videos on the way. Thank you indeed for your great support. I really, really appreciate it. But until next time, as always, Vishka, Hell Basha. Uh -huh.